The moment I've been waiting on is finally here. And I, I'd be lying to you if I said that I wasn't a little bit nervous. They say even the greatest motivational speakers still get nervous before they get on that stage. All the hard work, all the practicing, all the drilling, all the rehearsing, all the studying, it's going to come into play today. This is the 2017 Toastmasters International Inspirational Speech Contest, round two. Dude, it was like pulling teeth trying to get my new hairdo in. <laughs> That's a new hairdo. It was weird. So what's up, guys? So what's up, Bella? <laughs> so today, it's about to go down. Got Jonathan here. We're getting ready to head on out to the competition. Like I said, I'm nervous as all get up. But hey, every single motivational speaker is before they get on that stage. I'm going to channel that energy and turn it into positive energy, positive vibes. A little bit of feedback, I can't tell if that's wind or my shirt brushing. Yeah, I want to make sure that we got this working before we... Got them all mic'd up, huh? Wireless mic, got the camera rolling. Uh, yeah, it's it's going down. We're gonna, we're gonna show up today. That's the best we could do. That's the way we, we can control our actions. We can show up. Can't control the outcomes, but I know I can give it my best effort. And I know Jonathan's gonna capture some amazing footage. Can't wait to blast it out. Can't wait to see the outcomes. I've been putting in a lot of work for this. Yeah. So I gotta keep on talking because we're testing out the mic. So I'm just gonna ramble on here for a second. Uh, my number one dream is to become the world's greatest motivational speaker. And I guess that stems back to my childhood because I used to always envision, have these, visualize myself on stage with thousands of crowds, packed stadiums. I'm talking huge crowds. And I used to be in music, uh, and you guys probably make fun of me, I used to be a rapper. Uh, actually, I really did I used to be a rapper, I used to be in a rap group. Uh, Show Me Swat was actually the name of it. It was a passion, I love music, that's why I got this little music note on my, on my throat. And uh, as I grew older, uh, that rap group fell apart, and I guess I lost passion for the rap because I'm not too, I'm not happy at all with the way that that industry has gone, but I've still had that, wanted to get up on stage and, and spread a message, something that's gonna impact somebody. And then when I got introduced to network marketing, it, uh, I started speaking in, in group settings and in, in, in big settings. I spoke in front of 5,000 plus people at the MGM Grand. I'll leave the link to that video in the, in the description below. Uh, I got to propose to my wife in front of 5,000 plus people down in Vegas, and that's where it started. And I was like, man, this is something that I, that really gets me going, gets that fire in my belly. And I guess that's where it came from, and since then I've had a passion out of this world. Uh, I'm not doing the network marketing thing now, but it's led me on to this, what I'm doing now, and I'm forever grateful for that in industry, and now I'm getting to chase my dreams doing the motivational speaking. We're just trying to get this camera up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, I hope this is Preparation. Finding out 12 <laughs> minutes before you got to be there where you're supposed to go. Right. In a city that's famous for terrible traffic conditions and road construction. Hey, Pat, comma, do you know if that second address is the correct address for the event today? Question mark. So, man, how did you get into something I got You told me it was kind of like you lucked into it. You can put that luck shit in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Gary V, baby. <laughs> I took a leap. Um, I didn't know what I was leaping towards, but I took a leap. Um, I know I hated my job. I was working in the retail world. I knew I hated it, and I knew I wanted something different. So 
so I quit and I started pursuing my passion. It's like you're making a hundred million dollar deal. <laughs> that walk shit in your pocket. That's what's funny. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> kicked it off of the, That was fucking great. Pulling up here now. Getting ready to rock this, man. <laughs> Ain't that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He thought we were about to take a picture. I totally got him. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? How's it going? Congratulations. Good. Thank you, my it friend. Good. It was really good. It looked like it, man. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, Rolling, this is my buddy Chan. How's it going? Hi, Chan. Nice nice Rolling. <laughs> What's up? We're up here with Mike and Roland. These are my good friends. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hey, Mike. What do you think about this so far? It's a good picture. <laughs> Better with me and if it's a good picture. <laughs> intermission five minute break we did the first half the evaluation parts I'm not even gonna lie I am nervous as all get up right now but I'm focused I put in a lot of practice rehearsing drilling I got my good buddy Jonathan encouraging me here this is uh this is it this is the journey right here man going for greatness Did it, dude. That is, that is practice, preparation, rehearsing, drilling, practice, preparation, rehearsing, drilling over and 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 over, and over, and over, over again and again and again. That's hard work put in consistently. It didn't, that's, it didn't come out overnight. But, you know, I'm very humble, very grateful that we're taking it to the next round. I don't know the championship yet. We're getting there. Uh, Jonathan, I love you, bro, for. Uh, being not only just a phenomenal best videographer I've ever ran across, but just a great friend. You help me become more when I'm on video, uh, sharing my story, you help me express it better, you give me more creative outlets. So I appreciate and I'm very grateful for you to have me and to be teamed up with you in this. Uh, I'm grateful for everyone out there that's watching this, that's following this journey. Uh, I wanna I want to help people hone in on their strengths crush their goals and reach their potential and find true happiness in life uh, because other people have helped me find that and I want to spread it and I want to share it with the world. It's a little hot in here, man. I'm not going to lie. Let me, uh, visualization, man, is huge, man. I visualize what I'm going to say after the stage and how I'm going to grab my kids and my wife right after I win, dude. Like, let's keep it. That's not just it, though, man. John, you know this more than anything, man. It's it's the work, bro. It's, it's the... It's, Dude, over and over watching from speak your last speech to this speech, the improvements were just incredible. You gotta put your mic on. Dude. You gotta put the mic on. You gotta mic on. Am I mic'd up? I just turned it on. Can you hear me? Yo, man, I'm still on top of the freaking world, dude. I just won, dude. That is freaking awesome. But it's not over yet. Still got three more rounds. We're up here. We're getting ready to shoot some photos here at City Place, and we're gonna get some video. Uh, this guy is the man right here, as I tell you guys all the time. Jay Walt. Jay Walt. Check him out. JayWaltPhotography.com. 
JonathanWalters.com. Either or, man, that's the man I'm telling you. If you live in the St. Louis surrounding area or anywhere, even Illinois, wherever, it don't matter. This is the man you need to talk to, man. Uh, check out these videos. We're going to post very soon. But, man, I'm on top of the world right now, man. This is my number one passion in life to become the world's greatest motivational speaker. And today I took a huge step, a quantum leap, into making it into the third round of the 2017 Toastmasters World Championship of Speaking. That's a huge deal, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna keep working, man, because it ain't over yet. The work has just begun. Get home, get ready to go see my kiddos. Show them that daddy won today. Really excited about that. I don't know if they're gonna understand what that even means, but they'll, they'll probably be excited. You know that much. Hi, kids. You won. Yeah, I won. You hug. Huh? Mm -hmm. Love you. <laughs> Daddy won. <laughs> what you got there? Huh? Give me a hug? Yeah. Love you. You guys miss me? You got burger and fries? Look, Daddy won. Yeah, Daddy won. Good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job. That's what I was practicing. Say what's up to J Walt. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, uh, we're gonna go grab a quick bite to eat for lunch, man. Enjoy soaking this moment. Very grateful for this moment. Uh, it's very important to be grateful when you do accomplish something like that. And just be grateful for what you have right now, where you are, where you have it. Um, so we're gonna go enjoy this moment, and then we're gonna get right back to work. That's right, building a brand. Uh, Working on my public speaking skills, become the world's greatest motivational speaker, and having a heck of a lot of fun doing it. We're ready, we're ready. We'll get ready. I'm not a very good candidate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do all the work. Uh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll return the favor, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> oh my God, you're you're going on YouTube vlogging style, <laughs> dude. I want some of your bowl, man. <laughs> so what do we got right here? Uh huh. She said the one with the smiley face is mine. <laughs> That's right. Perfection, baby. Chipotle, you guys owe me some ad revenue money. Just letting you know that. <laughs> you too, you have an amazing day. <laughs> Monday, uh, why don't we, why don't you, uh, give me a call like Monday afternoon. I want to get together and do some more content, except for this time. We'll do something. It, it, the way we're doing it now is just, it's just, we're not creating, but we're documenting, we're just talking, speaking our own mind. What we got now, though, is we both have such great stories to share and, and content to talk about. Uh, and if we just do it in a, in a natural way, like a candid conversation kind of way, it'll be pretty powerful. <laughs> Checking himself out in the reflection. Oh yeah. It's 3.11 on this fine, beautiful Saturday afternoon. And what I'm gonna do is get back home are digging what I'm throwing down right here on Diaries of an Ex-Convict, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please throw some comments down here in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. Give me some feedback or just drop in to say hi. I'd love to chat with you, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is the journey of me to becoming the world's greatest motivational speaker. 
Zachary Babcock here on Win With Zach, The Conscious Convict. See you tomorrow.